A Minnesota family is sharing their message after a beloved grandfather became one of the state's 29 COVID-19 victims. Scott Melter of Wyoming, Minnesota, just retired last year. The 60-year-old who had COPD had also beat lung cancer last year. But on Wednesday, COVID-19 took his life. And as Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us tonight, it was a life well lived. Scott Melter leaves behind a large family and an even larger legacy, as his daughter explains. He always wanted everybody to feel so loved. He was the best papa in the entire world to his grandchildren. He would always take them on uh, special papa dates. He loved vacationing. He loved bringing people on vacations so they could experience things. And that's exactly what he did early last month. The family traveled to Mexico as word of COVID-19 started to spread. We even talked about it on vacation. You know, he had said, yeah, you know, it's it's not going to be good if somebody like me gets it. So after the trip, Scott and his beloved wife of 35 years left their South Carolina winter home to come back to Minnesota. I said, you know, I want you here so that we can just keep you home and away from everything. It was on the drive to what they thought was safety that they realized Scott was in danger. He just had said he was just kind of tired and he wasn't feeling real well. He, he actually was like, it's, he's like, I'm not overly concerned. I don't think it's COVID because like the symptoms that I'm having don't really line up with what they're, what they're saying. Um, but then obviously it progressed pretty quickly after that. Scott was admitted to M Health Fairview in Wyoming on March 25th. That would be the last day he would ever see his wife. He tested positive for COVID-19 and was put into isolation until the end was near. We were able to have one person be with him. So I'm so grateful that my brother, that they allowed him to be there and to FaceTime us so we could say our goodbyes. It was special. Now the family hopes that anyone who hears Scott's story does not feel fear, but instead hope. There is a lot of good happening and there's a lot of light being spread and a lot of love being spread. Um, and that's what my dad would want. He would want people to know God's got this. You know, we're going to be okay. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Scott's wife is now in quarantine, so she is alone, but says she feels lots of love through FaceTime. The family has decided to wait and hold a celebration of life for Scott sometime in the future.